Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse show. Yeah, we're uh, we're warriors. You know what we are for truth. Yeah. In other words, we're willing to take it on the line and say, look, what's right is right. And what is wrong is wrong. And what the Dodgers are doing is attacking our Catholic faith. And here are some bishops standing up to the Dodgers. Let's get who they are. Who are they, Jesse? Yeah, I uh, thank God that uh, the first one, the yeah. first one at bat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. First one at yeah. batting, land, leading off. Yeah, leading off is, uh, as uh, the article here is from Catholic Vote, it says, uh, the first one, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence is a tr- group of men who dress in lewd costumes, mimicking the habits of nuns and performing acts of sacrilege against Catholic symbols and sacraments. Mm-hmm. So here's an inexhaustive list of church leaders from both inside and outside of California yep. who have stood up to the Dodgers embrace of the radical organization. The statement by Bishop Conley of the Diocese of Lincoln was added June 1st to 23. So the first okay. one I'd bat here is Archbishop Salvatore Corleone of San Francisco. He says this, our Catholic sisters devote themselves to serving others selflessly Decent people would not mock and blaspheme them. So we now know what God's lowercase g, the Dodger admin worships. Disappointing, but not surprising. And in his tweet that he sent out, I I read from the tweet. Yeah. He's also retweeted Marco Rubio uh, within his tweet. And Marco Rubio said, shamefully, but not surprisingly, the at Dodgers have been bullied into apologizing and reinviting a group of anti-Catholic bigots. Today, our great country is controlled by socio-political ruling elites who don't just tolerate anti-Catholic bigotry, they encourage it. And can you right. imagine, Jesse, yeah. if the Muslims were somebody oh. dressed up as a Muslim cleric and, and ridiculed the Muslim religion? You think that uh. that would happen? I No way. Or... Let's say they do that to the Jewish religion or any other religion. Not why is it, Jess, why is it that Catholicism can still be ridiculed and, and uh, shot at? Let me and, take a shot at it. I'll no, tell you why. Yeah, I want to know. Because Archbishop, uh, actually, uh, Archbishop Corleone, he, he, said, yep. he said, I'm sick and tired. Yep. He says the Catholic Church has been persecuted since the beginning of this country. Yep. Well, so I'll tell you it's why my take. Yeah. Because the country was founded by Protestants and Masons. Mm -hmm. Both of them are virulently anti-Catholic. They tolerated (laughs) us in the beginning. (laughs) Now, things have gotten better. Don't get me wrong. Things have gotten better. But in the beginning, they taught. In fact, Catholics were exiled to to the state of Maryland when we came over from Europe. They said, oh, you're Catholic. Okay, you go live in Maryland. Catholics were not allowed to live in any of the other 12 colonies. So so Corleone says that anti-Catholic bigotry, it's deep in this country. Uh, We've made a lot of strides, thanks be to God. But uh, but but it's it's rearing its ugly head again, Terry. And Jesse, I know we're going to stay on this topic, but think yeah. about the early '60s when President Kennedy said he wouldn't let his Catholic faith influence him uh, in being the president of the United States, and that was a a landmark decision that he made that just opened the floodgates and said, oh, "You see, Catholics don't really believe; they're just you know they're first they're uh, they're going to be." Um, Americans and then Catholics second. Yeah, yeah. And that was where anti-Catholicism, yeah, they said, well, maybe these Catholics are okay, but see, in fact, that destroyed us because then abortion came in and the Catholics said, well, we can't stop that because this is a free country. We're not going to want to stop the killing of innocent life. It's just bad news here. But yeah. Jesse, what about the Archdiocese of Los Angeles? The Archdiocese of L.A., the ecclesiastical jurisdiction where the Dodgers are located, released a statement last Tuesday. He says the decision to honor a group that clearly mocks the Catholic faith and makes light of the sincere and holy vocations of our women religious who are an integral part of our church is what is what has caused disappointment, concern, anger and dismay from our Catholic community. The Archdiocese stated. It goes on, the ministries and vocations of our religious women should be honored and celebrated through genuine acts of appreciation, reverence, and respect for their sacred vows, and for all the good works of our nuns and sisters in in the service of the mission of the Catholic Church. Jesse, I was glad that the Archdiocese encouraged Catholic and people of goodwill to stand against bigotry and hate in any form and stand for respect for one another and for religious beliefs. Well, that's what we're doing. That's where I was going to go, Jess, for communities of faith. Basically, that just that's pretty much what we're doing. We're making reparation. We're standing up for the good, the girls, standing up for our Catholic faith, and saying, "Look, dude, not on our watch. We 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 aren't going to take this. We need to stop the bigotry against Catholicism in this country, 
And those groups that are portraying Catholicism in a bad light, they need to stop. And if we don't speak up, Jesse, that you know what that says? We don't care. Exactly. Uh, the Archdiocese of Orange, the day before the neighboring Archdiocese released a similar rebuke stating, quote, we cannot condone any actions that have historically shown high levels of disregard for the sincerely held beliefs of the faithful. Uh, this statement came in response to the decision of the major of the mayor of Anaheim, California, yep. to invite the homosexual men, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, to be her personal guest at an upcoming a LA Angels game. Mayor Asley Atkin, a self-professed Catholic, made the move in an apparent rebuke of those who spoke out against the anti-Catholic group. We made this point before. Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, yeah. politicians that are Catholic and go off into the secular humanistic approach to life, they're really scandalous. And I, I think of this as a Catholic man. I go, you know, well, you're not Catholic. You're only Catholic in name. Because you're, you're, what you're doing there is you're denying your beliefs as a Catholic for the dignity of each human person. That's what I see. Mm -hmm. Bishop Robert Barron of Winona, Rochester. Yep. The founder of the Catholic media Word on, company, Word on Fire, called for Catholics to boycott the Dodgers via a video post to Twitter on Tuesday. Barron served as the auxiliary archbishop of Los Angeles for nearly seven years before being appointed to his current Minnesota diocese in 2022. Catholic Vote reported that Barron considered himself to be a big baseball fan oh, and, even threw, baseball. and even threw a ceremonial first pitch did. for the Dodgers during a Catholic night promotion in 2016. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I I sent an email three days ago or four days ago to a secretary, I know it was secretary, to, I, to invite him. I haven't heard nothing yet. As of, as of today, I haven't heard nothing yet after four days of reaching out to Bishop Barron and asking him to march with us and be with us and be one of the awesome. speakers. Awesome. So uh, nothing yet. Good job, but I'll, Jesse. I'll, if, I report, if, if he comes gets back to me, you guys will certainly know about it. And I think he, you need to go on YouTube to watch what he had to say because I was really proud that he stood up and said, look, if this was a Jewish group or is a, a Muslim group, this wouldn't be acceptable. Why is it? that this is still continuing to persecute Catholics in a country that says we're free, land of the free. And this is, I think, something that more bishops need to come out. And I, and I get it, Jesse. Speaking up on this, you're going to be a marked man. But you know what? Isn't that what our Lord taught us to do? And that is to proclaim the truth and not worry about all the fallout? I think that's what he taught us. Here's what he said. Here's Bishop Barron's actual tweet. As he said, friends, it's hard to imagine anything more offensive than some of the behavior yeah. of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, which I think can only be described as an anti-Catholic hate group. Exactly what it is. Next, we move on to Bishop Joseph Strickland of Tyler, Texas, <coughs> uh, America's bishop, as we call him. <laughs> he, uh, he's he been very vocal about the situation. Oh, gonna do, I got a show in about uh, at one o'clock tomorrow. We're going to talk about it again. Yeah. About him he, coming he, out. He, he shared Archbishop Corleone's statement th yep. thanking him for his reproach of the Dodgers. Yep. Here's what he said. Archbishop, thank you for speaking out on this. And then he said, uh, he, he says, uh, not sure who could deny our battle today is not between religion and some neutral secularism, yeah. but between competing religions. So he, he retweeted uh, Archbishop Corleone's uh, statement. Corleone says... Our Catholic sisters devote themselves to serving others selflessly. Decent people would not mock and blaspheme them. So again, uh, and, and Bishop Strickland, he said this. He shared Catholic Vote's graphic showing the, the public contact information of one of the Dodgers executives behind the re-invitation. And he said, please speak against this evil being promoted at Dodger Stadium. The bishop urged his over 100,000 followers. And here's what he said. Uh, Anti-Catholics... Uh, no, attention Catholics and allies contact the at Dodgers exec behind the bigotry. Eric yep. Braverman should hear from you. Honoring anti-Catholic hate group is unacceptable. Call and leave message to Eric Stan or Lori today. Speak up for the real Catholic sisters that we know and love. Then he send out uh, the, the flyer put out by uh, Catholic vote. Awesome. And you know, Jesse, we've all called Dodger stadium. Yeah. Some of my friends got through. I didn't get through several times. I've left messages, detailed yeah. messages with them. I took your letter that you had on your website. I hope you still have it there or people yeah. can take that letter. Yeah. And uh, let's just keep bombarding them with our comments because they need to know that this is offensive. And the only way they're going to know is if we speak up. Yep. Then we got Bishop Donald Hyen of Madison. 
he said this, let's call, let's call this out for what it is, anti-Catholic bigotry and blasphemy against God. And he, uh, he, he put out this statement. After much thoughtful feedback from our diverse communities, honest conversations with the Los Angeles Dodgers organization and generous discussions with the per- Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, the Los Angeles Dodgers would like to offer our sincerest apologies to the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, oh members of the LGBTQ plus community and their friends and family. So who cares about us Catholics, but they're apologizing to them for having disinvited them. Then we have Bishop Conley of Lincoln, Nebraska. He says, he tweeted an article by Catholic News Agency adding the words, quote, this decision by the Los Angeles Dodgers to honor a group that mocks Catholicism and all of Christianity is unwise and disappointing. He says, this group is slanderous towards our religious sisters and all women. The Dodgers and Major League Baseball need to correct this decision. And then the article to which the bishop linked referenced the Dodgers announcing their upcoming Christian faith and family day. Yeah, they threw us a little bone there, Terry. Yeah. That will take place at the end of July. It also discussed the multiple Dodger players who have condemned the reinvitation of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence earlier this week. Yeah. Jesse, uh, I, I'm glad we got these bishops, but Jesse, yeah. there's 300 bishops in the United yeah. States. Unbelievable. Okay? So we've got a handful. I can count on my two hands. Yeah, Terry, uh, uh, unless the other 300 are simply unaware of this story, which is not likely, this needs to be every bishop, priest, and deacon in America needs to speak out on this. There's no way that they could be unaware. Uh, And I get it that not everybody follows social media, uh, and the mainstream media is surely not reporting this, but uh, I'm sure sure that the members of the USCCB have, have seen some of the, the flyers, some of the, the, some of the press out there. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you the Catholics that are doing this at Dodger Stadium, you know what they are, Terry? Hmm. They're Biden, Pelosi type Catholics. Oh, That's yeah. what they are. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and you know, Jesse, <clears throat> the bottom line on this whole effort to stand up for our Catholic faith in a world that acts like God doesn't exist. Think about what these uh, men who are active homosexuals have done in 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 trying to um, get Catholics upset by breaking you know in, at a mass doing bad doing horrible things. I can't even describe what they do at some of the masses they've done up in San Francisco and other places. So we need to stand up and say to the bully, "Enough's enough. Stop persecuting us." And that's basically we're going to make reparation by being there with our prayers and our sacrifices. It's about time we do we respond in a very positive way. Up next.